Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Judas, book one of four. Now, this is a Boom Studios exclusive, and uh, what we got here is Jeff Loveness and uh, Jakub Rebelka. So, the artist here, I can actually, excuse me, the, the writer, I can really relate to here, because uh, like he, like he, I was raised in a very religious home. All right. Very religious background. And I myself always wondered about the story of Judas. I know I was raised to hate him. Like, oh, he was the betrayer. He did so bad. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if that's the case, then oh, why didn't Jesus do more? And that's questioned here. You know what I'm saying? Why, why did he have to, why did it have to be this way? Because if all of this was preordained, how can you blame somebody for something that's preordained? If humans were meant to be on earth and to work this soil and, and to give birth to more humans and things like that, then how can we blame Adam and Eve, right? All of these stories, all of them, I questioned every single one of them. So reading a story like this, this speaks right to my heart. You know what I'm saying? Um, am I a particularly religious guy? Eh, doesn't matter. The idea is I know these stories. I can quote a lot of this scripture. And this does have a bit of mysticism in it. Like, in, in many regards, I was reading this and thinking to myself, you know, oh, well, maybe these guys over here could be lepers. But you can't deny that these things over here with the multiple eyes and straight out of the book of Isaiah and all that and, and Ezekiel. Nah, man, these are flat out monsters, like biblical prophesi prophetical monsters. You know what I'm saying? Prophet there we go. Prophetical monsters. And just, wow, straight up. And then at the end, I believe that's Satan that he meets. <laughs> the black wings and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Satan. <laughs> so uh, this is pretty interesting. Uh, I also like the idea that he wears his 30 pieces of silver uh, the, for the, the, the price for betraying Jesus around his neck as a necklace. That's uh, pretty interesting. I'm digging that. This is a very interesting story. It's unique, in my opinion. Uh, it's a story that we can tell today. We probably couldn't have told, let's say, 50 years ago. No way. No way. Guy would have been run out of town. You know, saying, don't even have to go back that far. But, dude... Forget about it. So I'm very happy that we live in an age where we can explore these kinds of questions in novella form. So I'm going to give this comic book an A-. minus. This was a fun read. This wasn't like, you know, oh my God, I'm done. No, just this to me is interesting. If you are not interested in the slightest in a religious type story, a story that will explore, you know, is this actually uh, Judas Iscarot's fault or, you know, or not, then this story is not going to appeal to you at all in the slightest. I cannot recommend this book to you. But for me, anybody who, who does read these kinds of things and who can look at these things with an open mind, this is a good story. This is a really good story to explore. That's it for me, guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.